Marsha, and this is Short Circuits. I'm so glad you joined me today. That means you've got one of these lying around your house. Maybe you haven't used it in a while. Maybe you're looking for new ways to use it. It's one of my favorite ways to train core. So the first half of this video, I'm gonna use it tutorial style. I'm gonna teach you seven new cool ways to use the Swiss ball. And then afterwards, we're gonna put it together in a little mini workout for you, circuit style. 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So make sure you warm up. I've got a couple of warm ups on my site, so check those out. And if you're ready, let's do this. The first exercise we're gonna do is pretty basic. It's called a kneeling rollout. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my elbows on the ball and I'm just gonna roll out into a plank position from my knees. That is a good starting point if you're new to exercise or you don't really have a lot of strength in your core. So once again, you're gonna roll out to that point of tension and then you're gonna roll back in. <clears throat> the next one I'm gonna show you is probably something you're already familiar with. It's a crunch. The Swiss ball is one of the best ways to do a crunch because it gives you a little bit more range of motion. You get a bit of extension and then contraction so you can work the abdominals a little bit more fully. I'm gonna show you a couple of options for your hands. And if you're not sure about your position, you wanna think about your belly button as the axis of the ball. And your first position, most basic position is gonna be arms forward and you're gonna crunch up. From here, we can make it a little bit harder by bringing the hands on the shoulders. And then we can take the hands behind the head, crunch this way, or maybe even just out to the side. And then the hardest position is going to be with hands all the way out, arms extended, long lever, crunching up. And I'm already feeling that. <clears throat> then we can make our planks a little bit more challenging using the ball. So you've got a couple options for planks. You can do a forearm plank, or you can do a hand plank. You can play around with the position of your feet. So for example, if I'm in a forearm plank, we could try taking one leg off the floor and make it a little bit more challenging. And that's your plank on the ball. Now we can also do a different style of plank with the feet on the ball. And uh, the hardest part of this is getting your, your legs on the ball. So the way I do it is I put my shin on the ball, walk my hands into plank, and then pop my other leg up. So this is another way to do a plank. And from here, we can do all kinds of stuff. Jackknife, pike, and those are really great ways to train the core. So we're coming down to the floor, putting your heels on the ball. And the first thing we can do is a glute bridge. So we would just try to relax the upper body and lift your hips up and squeeze. So this is a very basic glute bridge. From here, we could keep the hips up and we could do a leg curl. So we'd be pulling the ball in and out. This is a really great one for your hamstrings. To make it even more challenging, you could do a one leg hamstring curl. Lift up, pull in. So if you're looking for something more, you can check that one out. The last exercise I'm gonna show you is one of my favorites. I'm gonna come into a plank on the ball and I'm gonna do a leg drop. So this one's a little bit more advanced. The ball is pretty unstable and you've gotta really engage your core to keep that ball from moving around and keep yourself from falling off the ball. So that's it, that's our little tutorial. So if you're ready, we're gonna do the workout. 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, however many exercises that turned out to be. And if you're finding that it's too challenging, take it down a notch. 
If you're finding that it's too easy, take it up a notch. I'll give you some cues as we go. So here we go. I'm going to set my timer and we're going to start with those kneeling rollouts. So elbows on the ball, forearms on the ball, brace your core and let's go. Awesome. Now we're going to come into our crunch position. And you're going to pick your arms. So I'll go with the hard one since we're just doing a short 30 seconds. You don't have to come up all the way, just about two thirds of the way. You should really be feeling that one. So we're going to do a couple of different styles of plank. I'm just going to start with the forearm plank to begin with, making sure my elbows are under my shoulders. I'm really bracing hard through the core. If you want to make it a little harder just from here, you can walk your feet in closer together and a little easier as your feet wider. Your choice. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to come down for glute bridges, give my abdominals a little chance to recover before I do the second plank. So I'm just going to do some easy glute bridges. Really squeezing the glutes. And now, I'm going to do the plank with my feet on the ball. Now, the more leg you have on the ball, the easier this is going to be. You want to make it more challenging to move the ball backwards. So you've only got your feet on the ball. And you want to keep your eyes down. You want to keep your neck as an extension of your spine. So eyes down. All right, so guys, the next one can be a two-legged leg curl or one-legged leg curl. I'm gonna go for the one. So if you're gonna use two, two feet, you wanna do it twice. And don't be alarmed if you get a cramp in your hamstring, that's pretty normal. You can stop and shake it out and start again. And rest. Excellent. All right, we're moving in quickly to the pike. So you're going to put your feet on the ball. 
And here we go. And remember, if this is too much for you, you can always just come back to a plank, either on the ball or on the floor. Excellent. A little break, but we're going to put our feet right back on the ball again for leg drop. Last exercise. And I really like this one because it uses so many muscles. Back of the legs, shoulders, chest, and lots of core. So that's our little mini circuit for today. Please feel free to rewind it and do it a couple more times. I promise you, you're going to feel this a lot in your abdominals as well as the back of your legs. If you like this workout and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Check every Monday for a brand new workout. And sometimes during the week, I'm going to post sporadic workouts, little tutorials, how-to videos. So check it regularly. Until next time, take care of you, and I'll see you in my gym. Woo! <laughs>